Storm on the 30 of the Titans. Hughes now. And Munster to Blore to offload. They'll score Pappenhausen. Back to Cameron Munster. He spoke to Fox League the other day and described the 2020 Premiership as his crowning achievement in all his 200 games, having to deal with COVID bubbles and uncertainty around restrictions. To come out of all that adversity for the Premiership ring is the moment Cameron Munster is most proud. Well, the numbers don't stack up for the Titans in defence here. Munster will take it up, flicked on, Warbrick for the corner. Well, that's just simple mathematics. <laughs> well, what? You've got to help me, James. You've got to help all the Fox League viewers. From the, the breaking scrum players, but also you can't afford to have that mismatch of numbers with the scrumbles a little as he takes that carry. Just the four to bring him down this time. Munster on the floor, offload, offload and goes. Oh, this is precision. This is Melbourne. He's averaging 43 touches per game, the most he's ever been involved in his career. There's been a lot of chat around who might don that New South Wales number one jumper. So they come lift. And the far longer with it. Oh, no. Oh, he dazzles. He bamboozles. He mesmerizes the Titans defense. To be in the team somewhere. Melbourne Storm have got quality in their spine. This is Reese Walsh, the Kalen Ponga, Ryan Pappenhausen. Quality. Lutalo in no hurry to get off there. Here's a cheeky run for Kartoa. Reaches out and scores. Oh, yes. Ellie Kartoa out of dummy half. And Melbourne get the first try of the night. Robinson, who's just come into the side only a couple of weeks ago. That space where the half defends. And on the other side of the field, you've got Braley in that unfamiliar position of where Nico Hines is not. Jew starts to play a role. The floater for Munster. The flat ball is a thing of beauty, and it's Remus Smith who scores. And they the want the up. moment, Dan. They, they, the greats want the moment. And he, you're right, he'd been sitting back. Grant had been scheming, bouncing around the ruck. Uh, Wishart had been sort of looking at, you know, and he'd been up energetically with no Hughes in the side. Munster. So the last play, look at the arms r rising there. They want the ball on that right side. Here comes the Wishart. Here it comes to Wishart, and he scores. Tyron Wishart is over. Melbourne have a chance to tie it. In the background. They mean to take the air out of the balloon here, but Katoa, you don't see it. It's out of shot on that one. But he collided with... Grant working with Wishart. Quick hands. Out to Xavier Coates. The Parramatta turning up in defense, defense again here. Kamakamita! They're not going to stop him, I don't think. Do they get around the ball? Well, Zizi D-Max replay. The ball will come wide. And then just watch Harry Grant go to work. Firstly, he gets over there, sprints to get to the threat. But have a look at this pass, the way he generates power to Kamakamita. It's a 15-metre pass. That is as good as it gets. What a player. Yeah, Craig Bellamy at his best. And changes the side at the last minute, brings Tui Kamakamitha into the starting side. Just wanted to play a little bit bigger against this big. Katoa with an offload. It's attractive football this weekend, isn't it? What a ball, what a run. Warbrick, he's powered past them all. Ozuzu D-Max replay. Ball goes out to the right-hand side, and they just changed the angle through Will Warbrick. And, and he just shows his athleticism, great palm. And then he accelerates around the young fullback, Blaze Talangi, straight under the sticks. Will Warbrick, welcome to Magic Round. And once again, it was that cutout pass from Dummy Half, straight to the back row, which got him straight one-on-one -on -one with Dejon Arcee. They got the offload. You can't waste an offload. Get the ball to your ball players, and then your strike players. And then look at that for an athlete. But this wide cutout pass from dummy half the Melbourne Storm are doing. It's getting their back rowers that one-on-one -on -one tackle with the smaller man, the halfback on the edge of the ruck. Here goes Xavier Stuck Coates. The defense again. Harry, Coates. Harry Grant wants a kick. He's all there by himself. Harry, does he get the bounce? Yes, he does. They go back to back in spectacular fashion. Oh, Zuzu, MU D Max replay. Well, Dylan Brown, he milks it. I hope they don't take this off.
but we've seen it before. Sean Bloor runs to the outside of Dylan Brown. But Harry Grant, once again, he is everywhere. This will show it perfect. Well, if they're going to be consistent, I don't agree with it, but if they're going to be consistent, this will be a no try. Harry Grant, we know how much work he gets through. Already double figures in tackles. Always push, pushing up in the middle. Back down to the tackle. Through the hands, Anderson, they've got numbers out wide. Warbrick has to step off the left. Comes back to the middle, Grant backing up. Harry! This poor end of the set, they rolled off field. Isuzu DMAX replay just pretty much gave the ball back to Melbourne. And on the back of this poor kick, they rolled up the field. But I like this. The ball comes out the back, and the forwards just get the ball and just move it. Catch, pass, find a ball player, put some plays on. They get to a strike player, and then look who's there. We spoke about him just after half time. What a champion. He's all effort, isn't he? What a champion. He's effort. He started the play and he finished it. Beautiful hands there by Remus Smith. Xavier Coates, he's had some heads-up moments this year. Off the boot, and that was a beautiful little offload. It all started back at the other end of the field with Ellie Katala. That was a momentum shifter. The arrow. Cross to Anderson. Numbers on this left-hand side again. They've stripped the Melbourne. Remus Smith. Inside of Talani and over for another Melbourne try. And Anderson, he drifts across the field and picks up Suofar Longo. Puts Remus Smith down the sideline and he finishes his work. Great work, Melbourne. And Harry has been unbelievable. Anderson with a great pass. Floor into the clear. Alec McDonald backing up. Gee, he's got to turn a foot for a prop. McDonald gets it away. That scored three on the bounce. Grant Anderson, isn't he having some sort of game? Gives it to Bloor, Izuzu D-Match replay, and Alec McDonald. Wow. The man they call Chin. Sini, straight over the top, straight into the hands of Xavier Coates, who's bounding upfield and is going to beat them all. Well, that was just a pass in hope, and Xavier Coates could not. Once he got the ball, it was goodbye. Had a couple of weeks off with a hamstring injury, but he's all smiles here today. Players more popular up here than Munster. Katoa is out left by Casivo. You see here on the Izuzu D Max replay, the effort. That that's what it is. Uh, the class is that's the icing on the cake. That talent's the icing on the cake. Spins in contact and was thinking about an offload, but doesn't promote the ball. Grant, away to Hughes, kicking through. It will be a try, and it's a sixth of the season for Ellie Cartola. Play here, Harvey Norman replay. Jerome Hughes just threads the needle, and Cartola, he chases the kick. It's a nice play, that one. Fullbacks in the line. Ali Katoa, he just pounces on a Jerome Hughes kick. And the storm hit the scoreboard before half time. Lehigh Hovawate is at the right post. You've seen him come across the screen around now. He was on the short side, 21. You see him holding. He was in the line. On that right. On the right goal post. And then Jerome Hughes gets the. Well, we're going into a real attacking mode of footy. Here's Falongo. Numbers. Meany pours into a hole. He gets to the fullback and he forces the ball. He does a great job. Harvey Norman replay. Good structure. Eli Katoa. He draws in Luke Brooks. That creates the space for Falongo. The 10th Fijian born player to bring up a century of games in the NRL tonight. Inside pass. Very nice. Hughes, Wishart, Hughes. Harvey Norman replay, just the markers. They just clock off for a second there. That was Paseca. Ball goes away.